Okay, so I'm playing Anno 2070, and I don't fully remember why I wanted this game. I just remember putting it on my wish list because something about it attracted me. And I got it from Azra today, so I'm happy to check it out. Requesting identification to unlock the command console. Um, can I do Zilla? Okay. Yeah. Get bent. I can never be Zilla. Like, the one place I found out that I could be Zilla was my anime list. I don't know how I managed to secure it there, but... Transaction. Transaction. Welcome to your art. My name is Eve. I am an artificial intelligence. I never could have told. My systems are designed to assist you. You can trust me implicitly. Always. Status well, that's not creepy. Earth. Current year, 2070. Continuously rising sea levels have changed ecosystems. Many coasts are flooded. <laughs> And more the Ural Mountains are, are flooded. Many coastal cities have been abandoned. Droughts and crop failures are causing mass migration. National structures are losing their power and importance. The established order is collapsing into the sea, along with the coastal cities. Climate change is intensifying the struggle for the distribution of the remaining resources. A rethink is necessary. The shifting shorelines have now made previously barren land fertile. New technologies are providing new opportunities. The scientific organization, SAAT, develops innovative technologies for the future. They created the ARC technology, and I, Eve, am also one of their creations. Definition, ARC, floating research station. There we go. Allows the occupation of new lands. You are among the few people selected to captain an ARC. Registering conflict of interest. The industrial consortium, Global Trust, the world's largest supplier of energy, will try to secure your services. The Eden Initiative will do the same. They are a globally active environmental organization. Their influence is steadily growing as a result of ultra-modern green tech technologies. Both organizations are competing for dominance by building their cities and recruiting intelligent people like yourself. <laughs> it is your choice whom you wish to support. <laughs> Regardless of your decision, one thing is certain. You can trust me implicitly. My name is Eve. Oh, there's the next button. Here, the entire thing was going, and I was like, I'm waiting for the next thing to show up. Um... Hmm... Let's do... Single missions? Ah, oh, man, this is going to be an involved one. Um, Alright, let's just try the, the start. Let's see what happens. Configuration of personal mission objectives completed. So this is multiplayer, so if anybody has it and wants to play, let me know. Um, Loading checklist with personal mission objectives. So this says, A rise in the sea level has meant that the numerous high plateaus have now become a group of larger, flatter islands. Some of these islands have been recently discovered and settled by Tilda Jorgensen. She warmly welcomes anyone who wishes to found new settlements on the abundant space available. Scenario objectives? Settle 2,500 executives. The focus is development and large construction area. 
Note the contents available for selection here do not contain the features and content of the Anno Deep Sea add-on. Which I believe I have because uh, I believe I got everything. The Eden Initiative is a network of influential global environmental organizations. I'm Yana Rodriguez, spokeswoman for the Initiative. If you want to help overcome the challenges that confront us in the modern world, your this lip syncing is, is for you. way off. Global trust never ceases in its laughable attempts to discredit our work. Don't listen to their allegations. The only sustainability they know is the exploitation of natural resources. Contrary to global trust propaganda, it is our environmentally friendly green tech operations and procedures that will guarantee our future prosperity and security. The Eden Initiative uses the latest energy generation technologies. Our economic vision guarantees a world that is worth living in for generations to come. Reactionary forces often feel threatened by our success. They think we're defenseless pacifists and try to scare us, often a fatal mistake. The Eden Initiative benefits from the vision of its founder and spiritual father, Seamus Green. He would be delighted to welcome you into our ranks. Join the Eden Initiative. Join us in our fight for a stable world, a world worth living in. We need intelligent, motivated people like you. Oh, that's a cool logo, because it is uh, reciprocal. Or, not reciprocal. Um, God, what's the word for that? I want to see the other people's pitch. Welcome to Global Trust. My name is Rufus Thorne, spokesperson and member of the board. It is my sincere wish to persuade you to embark on a joint venture with us. Does the Eden Initiative and its promises of salvation really do anything for you? Don't fall into their trap. With its inefficiency, the Eden Initiative is definitely a very long way from Eden. Global Trust, on the other hand, <laughs> tackles the problems of today. We are the world's largest employer and supplier of energy. We create new opportunities where others prevaricate and aren't. We rely on tried and tested production methods and our exceptional economic strength. In addition, Global Trust has unlimited access to the world's most important natural resource deposits. Of course, <laughs> that will be better. And some will quickly resort to violence. <laughs> but have no fear. Global Trust solves problems. Using the appropriate level of forms, if necessary. Our strength is due primarily to our brilliant CEO, Skylar Bates. She has led Global Trust to become the world leader and ensures that we stay on top. If you want to be one of the winners, come and become part of Global Trust. You won't regret it. I promise you that. So they each blame the other person for attacking first, of course, and I don't know. I'm more interested in being the little person fighting the big thing, so I'll be the hippies. Not to mention, I think they're probably going to be the ones that are going to be more futuristic than the other ones, because the other ones are probably more industrial and... I don't know, because, I mean, like, StarCraft breaking it down, I like Terran a lot more than, like, Protoss. Uh, but, um, Command and Conquer, I like, uh, GDI more than Nod. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. So, looks like we have a Dwarf Fortress uh, or Sims loading bar here. We're activating the geometric geothermal progress and we're snapping continental plates into place, digging deep sea trenches, reticulating splines, plowing the ocean floor. <laughs> I wonder how much of this is actually accurate to what the engine is actually doing in the background. Well, okay, t checking nitrogen content. That's not actually something that they're really going to do. Fudging eco-balance. The Ark has reached the target coordinates. Okay. Uh, let me interact, please. 
would love to interact. Your authorization for the quest has been verified. Objectives loaded. Okay, I probably shouldn't have closed that as early as I did. Hmm. This is... Unless you guys can see, like, really well, like, I don't know if you guys have it on full screen or whatever, but, uh, there's gonna be a lot of small things to read, so... I kind of suggest, um... Raising your resolution if you're watching. Searching database for useful information. Loading data containing relevant information. A silly city center. Registering quest request. Information on the topic now loaded. Oh my gosh. Text, 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 text. It's very likely that other individuals request them will be generally free to decide if you would respond to that request or not. However, in some cases, you may be uh, conscripted. Warning if you fail to respond, request, respond to a quest offer, your silence will be regarded as your acceptance, and any quest you cannot you accept cannot be subsequently declined. You cannot. You can do this by right-clicking on the quest icon. You, I have already been able to analyze a variety of different quest classes. The focus of the quest can range from economic motives such as goods deliveries to scientific services such as the exploration of certain areas to military tasks. Contact the respective quest sender for details. Rewards in accordance with Section 13 of the International Plan for Law of the Completion of Quests must be rewarded appropriately. The following rewards are common. Credits, often. Licenses, often. Goods, often. Items, occasionally. Increase in your influence, often. And vehicles, rarely. Um, Thematically relevant documents available. Da -da -da -da, crash course ship control. Your basic training most likely already lies a while back in the past. Refresh your memory here. The most important control. Ah. Left click to select. Right click on the destination to define the course. Confirm the button on the mini map to refocus on the vehicle. Confirm the button repeatedly to scroll through the list of vehicles. Find suitable islands. Uh, you should consider certain factors before selecting an island. Construction site. Select large and medium-sized islands to found cities, and medium-sized and small islands for production. Fertilities and raw materials. Bear in mind that the different requirements of the ecos, tycoons, and texts, and select islands that have the required resources. Rivers and lakes. Islands with rivers and lakes allow you to build certain plants and often have more resources. However, they have a reduced construction site area. More information about the current situation uh, available. Log stuff. Okay, command center. My stuff's above average. Global Trust has requested your immediate release for a highly sensitive mission. Please confirm your primary mission objectives in the campaign display. Also, be able to pursue your own, own objectives. Do this like my missions display where you can define the parameters of both the sector and your personal objectives. Analyze the data and transfer your arc to the relevant coordinates. There is a percent of probability of events occurring. Our commanders will then receive the appropriate mission data. Multiplayer games are cool. My archive contains data which could be important in this context. Thank you for delivering it very deadpan and broken up. That's how we can tell that you're an AI and not an actual person. Each production plant has its own short-term internal storage to hold good produce for collection. Their storage capacity is very limited. My schedule for the production is often halted when the internal storage is full. Tram is delayed. The term trade building includes warehouses, storage depots, and customs authorities. This, these act as wholesale warehouse goods produced on your island. They provide transportation units and cargo lifters for regular goods collection. Additional units will be available to you with each building upgrade. Oh, this has... okay. I think we're good. Just give me the rundown on what I need to do. Ascension rates. Um. Okay. Left click to activate the manual allocation of ascension rights. 
No, I have no inhabitants. I have no income. I have a slight energy surplus. Loading information about. Hmm. An island's fertility is defined which plants thrive there. Certain production plants can only operate efficiently. The fertility required for the production of goods exists there. Generally speaking, fertility is different from island to island. The larger the island, the more fertility it has. Some islands are marked with a question mark icon on the info bar, which means that you can use seeds to add any fertility which you can then cultivate on that island. You can trade with your neighbors to acquire seeds. Raw material deposits, uh, resources are island-wide limited to exploitation possible, deposits, exploitation possible with mines and mountain slopes, and river deposits, exploitation possible on certain parts of the river. Uh, every island has any combination of raw materials that you can exploit. Unlike fertilities, there's only limited quantity of each raw material available. You will find precise data regarding the type and quantity of the available raw materials in the info bar. This information will always relate to the whole island. The exploitation of raw materials is subject to those guidelines. Exhausted mineral deposits, since raw material are finite, you will they'll be exhausted sooner if exploited intensively. Once a raw material deposit has been exhausted, the manufacturers will cease operations. You can manufacture items for improved raw material exploitation in the research lab or get them from trading partners. If it's not possible, you'll have to tap deposits on other islands. So I see. How do I build? There's construction options. A worker barracks. That's probably a good thing to have. Go here. And probably... Uh, I don't know where else. A wind park? Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, what, was, what does it want? Decreases when other buildings hit everyone within the same influence radius. So I want them as far away from each other as they can be. Um, hmm. Let's put one on the coast. Fishery. Fisheries are good. Can I put it on the water? I can put it on the water. So I have one of everything, I think. Except for registering need for community centers. What is this? It has coal, iron, limestone, copper, and uranium. And that's where I should put it if I want it. Um Oh. <laughs> um, sorry, I guess I need to make a road. Warning. Registering depopulation. Oh, f get bent. Um, I want a road. Give me a road. No, no. Road. What do you want? Okay. Eco workers. I have none. None. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. Um No, not a, not a city center. Here, let's uh let's put this right next to it there cuz then they won't complain about roads, which I can't seem to make. What are you? Why do I have two of them? They're building modules. Okay. Um, what next? What do I do? Where's the road button? <coughs> Depot! Good, right? I want that. I think. Something like that. My information was of use to you. 
Good, okay. Road, there we go. Awesome. Yeah, there's there's your road. Unless there, right? Don't want that. Good, right? Now people will show up, I think. Who lives here? Go away. Go away. New construction options. Do I have a population? Do I have... I have two people! Yeah! Two people! Kick ass! Um... No, not demolish. Information on the demographic distribution of the population. <coughs> so, I have tycoons, very ambitious and strive for power. They prefer to live as comfortably as possible. To achieve this, they use the available resources and habitats as effectively as possible. Tycoons rely on the traditional fossil fuels for energy production. The focus of their economy is on industry and mining. Both are characterized by high levels of productivity, but at great cost to the environment. Ecos possess high ethical and moral principles. Their philosophy of life is to live in harmony with nature. They place great emphasis on the sustainable use of raw materials and habitats, and keep environmental pollution to an absolute minimum. Ecos have perfected environmentally friendly production of energy from solar and wind power. Their production plants are primarily focused on the agricultural sector. Both generate very little environmental cost, but require a lot of space. Texts, the calculated that the techs have a higher average IQ than members of the other population groups. They are the future-oriented and strive for progress and innovation. They are therefore mainly specialized in research. Tech per techs prefer modern methods of energy production, such as nuclear power. Many of their production plants use resources taken from underwater plateaus, which makes their economy both fairly efficient and quite challenging. So... I have... what? Eco-workers. Gotcha. And I probably need more houses. Here, have another one. And another. And some road. I don't really know what I'm spending or how much of it I have. So I'm kind of reluctant to build too much. And, um, hmm, this seems to be a rather long form game. What are you? Lobster! Commotion in the ocean. Air hose broke. Means. Interesting. So I can shut buildings off if things get too much. Lots of fish. Uh, and tools. And what is my objective right now? What am I working toward? Um. Oh. Okay, I get it. Okay, good, I think. How do I get to the salt mines? These don't have... These don't have... Um, this is basalt attraction. Maybe this just goes 
anywhere? Question mark. I'm just gonna throw it down there, and I'm gonna throw this down here too. I think this needs to be within range or something. I'm not entirely sure. Good, right? Good. think. Good, right? I think. <laughs> I really have no idea. Um, so this should be producing those. Yeah, it's a basalt quarry. I guess that just comes from anywhere. So I don't need roads to my power plants, do I? Some things just I don't think we're explained yet. Hey, I got a basalt. I think. What are you? Are you a deep Oh my god, did I bring it? Okay. Good. are... God, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Good, I got another basalt, so... You go into here, and then that makes this come out, and then I make building modules. Where's the thing here? Do I actually... Please tell me you're in range. If you're not in range, I'm gonna be very sad. It's in range. In fact, it, I think it just got in range, because I think it expanded somehow. So that's cool. Uh, you have a... what is it? The required are not being delivered. Uh, I'm gonna try a road. That's the road, right? Connects buildings. There, maybe? I'm not sure. It's almost been a half hour, um, and I think this is going to be a very long form game. We haven't gotten to a real sense of accomplishment, I don't think, other than I have some population. Um, I guess I'm full of people, so I need some more houses. Glad to be of help. Oh. I followed your advice that I <laughs> didn't see. Oh my gosh. My archive contains data which could be important in this context. Need for food and the amount of fish. Food. You're being fed by fish. And strictly fish. Respect. Thanks to you, we're living the good life. Cool, I guess. What's your th what's this thing? Oh cool, they pay me money. And I guess I use the money for um They don't have any drink or activity. I'm sorry people. How do I I am pleased. To be of assistance. 
There. Additional buildings. You give me your trust. You're so creepy. <laughs> You're so, so creepy. I am programmed to provide you support. Oh, cool. T. Game saved. That good number of fields. Warehouse or storage depot with a road. So if I stick it here, should be good, right? But I need lots of room for it, so. I think it was probably best to do it right there. Equipment with the required number of fields. Right, okay, so I need to actually grow no. stuff. You improve yourself, just as I do. You are so creepy, Eve. Quit creeping. Come on. <laughs> I need more eco workers, I guess. Which means more houses, which I guess I can put. Okay, that makes sense. That's not bad. My archive contains data which could be important in this context. Oh man, I now need more, more of this stuff. Is there a f make this faster button? Hmm. Drink. You guys don't get any drinks. <laughs> Energy level stabilized. Successful optimization. Congratulations. Okay, this is going to take way too long. I need to start getting more um, of those things, whatever they are. The basalt mines, I guess. Where did they come from? Is it here? Yeah, these guys. I'm starting to understand this. It's starting to click here. Wait, what? Oh, no, oh, okay, I get it. I, I don't want that. That one can go away. You got a T. Honestly, without you, we never would have made it this far. Well, thank you. <laughs> hmm. So I need more tea. Oh, okay, there it goes. It's, it's getting up there. I probably didn't need to build all those power plants. <laughs> what is my power like, anyway? <coughs> Produces 15. Is there just a tab that I can go to that shows me this? Oh, here it is. A major energy surplus. Additional is easily possible. Four. Okay, okay. I'm starting to understand that. Okay, well, it has been... Um, I kind of want to play it at least until this thing levels up, which shouldn't be too soon. So I guess the next objective. Respect. Thanks to you, we're living the good life. Next objective I get to.
Oh, I need more uh, houses. Okay. That I can do. Okay, what was my objective now? Like... Cool, it saved. Cool, cool... That's what I need. And in order to get this, I need... more workers, which means I need to build more houses. Make sure they're economically stable. I don't know what uh live stream people uh should I keep going with this or um should we go to the next game? Let me know. Oh you're backed up. So I actually should be another smelter which requires some tools but nothing else so that's that's good okay so if we see these guys take it from here and I guess they, they've been bringing them here. Oh. Or not. T, are you guys all satisfied still? Spiffy, alright. So it's just a function of time, really, at this point. What's my capacity? 152. Alright. Now if I could just fast motion this. Can I? Is that what this is? That doesn't seem like a raw material that button. Gorgeous here? Oh, life can be so good. Alright. We got one vote for next game. But so far it's unopposed, so. Yeah, uh, I'm going to save and come back to this one later then, because this is a very involved long-form game. So, <laughs> I'm glad I got to show it off. Gorgeous here? Oh, but life can be so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you silly person. Game. Seems like a pretty cool game, though very in-depth and I kind of wish that the tutorial was a little bit more explicit or maybe a little more direct um, but I am getting the hang of it and I'm kind of interested to see what happens when it starts getting rolling I'm, it seems to be a very long game like even Civilization probably got rolling a little faster than this but <laughs> so I have two here I have exit game and oh okay exit current game like the thing I'm playing and then this is exit to desktop so alright Let's play the next game.